What's going on guys? I'm Simple Simon. Welcome to this week's comic haul. Pretty small haul this week. I actually had zero books to pick up today, but luckily last week I couldn't afford them all. So I've got a bunch of books that are left in my box from last week. And I've also got a bunch of stuff that I've been forgetting to show you guys over the past couple of weeks. So I'll also show you those. Let's do this. Okay, so Sarah's getting her hair done today, so that's why she's not here. Hopefully, uh, she'll want to be on next week, and you'll be able to check out her fresh, fresh hair. Whoa, um, there are a couple of these books that are hers today. So I'll start off with Sarah's books that she picked up. Um, this is stuff that we picked up, or that I picked up last week, uh, but she left it in her holds box. Uh, so she picked up the Something's Killing the Children. Of course, because she's Sarah, she gets special treatment, and she gets all the fun foil. What is this? This is the foil variant. I'm not sure if this was available to order, or if it was one per store or whatever, unlockable. It just says foil variant. Um, so there's that. And then of course, the frizzen face covers, I guess you call them. That's all she got. Now for me, I picked up a lot of doubles from last week. I know I don't buy as many doubles as I used to, which is obviously a good thing, um, but every now and then I just can't help myself. So I'll start off with the doubles that I already showed you last week. Actually, it wasn't a double. It was just that Sarah bought this last week, so I thought, you know what, I'll leave mine at the shop. You can see Sarah's and I'll pick it up this week. So uh, one thing I didn't mention last week though, do you guys think that that face looks like Feruza Bulk? She was the girl in Waterboy, she's in American History X, The Craft. And also I mentioned that at the shop and shout out to Eli, who's one of the customers at Big City. He was like, and Return to Oz. I was like, yes, good one. She was the girl in Return to Oz. But yeah, I think that looks very much like Fruza Bulk there. So there's that. That's the Harley Quinn Night Terrors cover. This is definitely a double. I picked this up last week, but uh, I don't know why I picked up two, but don't avert your eyes. This stuff's hard to get, so I might just resell it. Um, one day. Uh, I actually sold my first comic book uh, on eBay. Finally, I had it up there for months and months and someone made an offer and I was like, yes, please. So uh, I finally sold a book. I'm going to make a video uh, about that whole experience as well. So keep an eye out for that. This one's another double from last week, the beautiful Jenny Frizz and Red Sonia. So you guys saw that from last week. Uh, last week's video got a decent amount of views. I think it was probably because of that cover being on the thumbnail. So everything else here, um, I did not get last week. Uh, this first one is Essentia. And this is a beautiful Perillo cover doing what he does best. I don't know a lot about this title, but they've had some fantastic covers. Some pretty decent artists actually have done some covers for this series, but I don't really know a lot about the series itself. Uh, so if you do know about Essentia, let me know in the comments. Uh, then we got some Nakayama here. This is the ASM 29. This is the Hellfire Gala variant. So some Nakayama there. Who's this chick? It's just like looking very Cruella almost with that dress. That was just a pure cover by, you know me, most Marvel books from here are cover by. Uh, and these Hellfire Gala variants, they seem to do them like every year now. So I thought that one was pretty cool. And this one is super cool. Look at Miles. Looking super, super slick there, upside down. Let's have a better look at him, maybe right side up. But um, looking pretty snazzy there in his uh, Gala outfit. So there's that. And that is Miles Morales number eight. Number eight. Uh, number eight. Uh. Uh, and then I got Blade issue one. I loved Blade a lot back in the day. Obviously the movies with Wesley Snipes were awesome, but I've never really read Blade. I believe I read a Marvel event a little while back uh, and I think Blade was in it, but yeah, uh, this is being a solo Blade title. I thought I'd pick that up and it feels quite thick, but uh, I might actually check this one out because you know, I wouldn't mind getting into some Marvel stuff. It's just that most of the stuff that I've read hasn't really just me too much. This next one is just a random pick off the wall at Big City Comics. This is Liquid Kill issue one. Now this is the one in seven variant, uh, ratio variant. Now I, I love this artist, Brayo. Brayo, I don't know how to say it, but he's a Brazilian artist. He did a book, I think it was last year called Vermilion, and I absolutely thought that was a fantastic book. It was just a one shot story, very dark, I follow this dude on Instagram and I love his art style. Um, this, I didn't realize, is actually an homage cover. It's actually a hip hop homage cover to a DMX album. So I actually didn't realize that. And then when I saw it on his um, Instagram, he mentioned that it's a 
and managed to DMX. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But uh, I really like this guy's art and I really want to get a commission or sketch cover off him one day. Uh, but again, I just I need more money. I'm paying off a lot of things at the moment. So that's Liquid Kill issue one, the one in seven. And then the last book is A Vicious Circle. This must be the second issue, book two. Um, this is from Boom Studio. It's magazine size format. Uh, an art by Lee Bermeo, but I feel like it's been quite some time since issue one came out So I don't know if it's supposed to be monthly or bi-monthly quarterly But it just feels like a while ago that I picked up the first issue. I could be wrong Maybe it was only a month ago and obviously our books are quite behind at the moment here So that is a vicious circle if anyone's reading that let me know if it's any good All right before I show you just a few more random bits and bobs. Uh, we will do the channel shout outs Shout out to Old Wolf Old Wolf actually released a video I just saw, which I haven't watched yet, but I'll probably watch it because it's only a few minutes long. It sounded like a scotch unboxing, but then I thought I saw the word art in it, so a little bit confused, but check out Old Wolf. I'm sure you're already subbed to him, but if you're not, then you obviously don't listen to us. Every week we tell you to subscribe to Old Wolf. I really haven't been watching much YouTube in the past week, uh, so I'm just going to shout out a toy channel. You guys know I'm doing a lot of toy content at the moment, and one of the smaller toy channels that I've found is called OGI Universe, I think they're called. He does really, really good toy reviews. I'm gonna leave a link to this pack that he bought and I really, really want it. It's a five pack of McFarlane toy figures of the Bat family. It's got Batman, Nightwing, Batgirl, uh, Damien, and the red hood that's in there is absolute fire. But it's not released in Australia as of yet and I got a feeling it's probably not gonna come to Australia. It's about $200, so right now I'm trying to see if I can get it or even if I can just get the Red Hood figure because if I get the whole pack, I'm gonna um, probably flog off the rest of the toys because I only want the Red Hood from it. But anyway, I'll leave a link to this guy's video who unboxed the Red Hood and the Red Hood looks fantastic. Check out OGI Universe if you're into toys because if you're not, you're probably not liking a lot of the content I'm doing lately. Okay, let's start off with the toy. So uh, I think it was last week I bought this randomly. Sarah was looking for a vase, I think for the flowers that I bought her. Uh, and I was like, I'm gonna go look at toys. Uh, and I found this, I couldn't believe it. I was like, is that a white Batmobile? Oh my goodness, a white Batmobile. Like it's a weird concept, but for some reason it looks awesome. How good does a white Batmobile look? It's got the racing stripes there. It's just funny that they, Obviously, this is the Flash uh, 89 Batmobile, but um, yeah, I just saw it in white and I was like, holy crap, that just looks strangely good. Uh, so I bought that. These things are $2, so you know, when you, when, you, when you find them, just get them. And then I forgot the other week, uh, I think we mentioned that we went to uh, the Pickers Retro Haven, but we also stopped by Secret HQ, which is another fantastic comic shop down here. And I forgot that I picked these up, so I figured I'd show you these. Um, I went through the back issue bins and just randomly found these. I was like, oh, I heard this was actually quite good, so I thought I'd read it. It's on Behemoth, and Behemoth um, released some pretty good stuff. So this is Follow Me Into The Darkness. I don't know a lot about it, but I remember a lot of people posting the books and saying that it was quite good. Very creepy sort of a style to it, I find. So that's issue one. I also picked up issue two there. Uh, I don't believe these the A covers. These are also... That was the C cover for the first issue. This is the B cover for issue two. The back always has something scary as well. And then issue three. Uh, is, this is the cover, Ray. But well, that guy looks like he might be an alien. I don't know. Whoa. Looks like a very scary, scary series. Uh, but I did hear a lot of people talking about it at the time it was coming out. So I found them in the back issues at Secret HQ. And that's pretty much it. I'm still trying to get through my backlog of videos that I've filmed. Um, most of them are toy videos, so uh, I don't know if you guys are enjoying them. My toy videos have been getting more views than my comic book videos. Not that I get a lot of views anyway, but I feel like the toy videos are getting, I guess, pushed more and people who don't watch my channel normally are seeing them because the view count's pretty decent, but people aren't liking or commenting and things like that. And I normally feel like that's when people who don't watch me regularly see those videos. So that's good. Last night I filmed a video on five DC McFarlane figures that I want to see, uh, but that still might be a couple of weeks before it comes out. Today at Big City Comics, I did a video with Mark. It was very rushed because Mark was late 
and then he talked for 10 years before we started filming and we only had 15 minutes to film the episode and that's normally tough because Mark normally talks for 15 minutes just on one topic. So, a lot of videos to come. Make sure you guys are subscribed, hit that bell, hit that like to show some support for the channel. Leave a comment, let us know what you thought of these books. Let us know what you picked up, what you're excited for that's coming out and hopefully Sarah will be back next week and we'll show off some fresh blue. We'll be looking pretty good next week because my hair's pretty fresh too. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's all from me. Until next time, I'm Simple Simon. Tell your friends and keep it simple.